come out. Do you know who I am? She was like, I'm trying to be there. I'm like, it's my thing. Yeah, it's not going to be. I think this one is probably going to be. And I tell you, it's just I just took a picture of Andrew doing this. Oh my god. I Hey Dan. Mark Mitchell. Hi, this is my new book. It's uh, a YA fantasy series. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about it. Well, okay. So this, those kinds of stories that are young people facing um, mythological creatures. This is uh, Mexican American teens facing off against Aztec and Mayan gods. So, okay, five book series. This is the the first one. Um, the Smoking Mirror the series is called Garza Twins. Super. And who did the art? The, the art was done by my daughter Charlene. That's what I thought. She was yeah. illustrated yeah. your son's graphic yeah, novels she did, too. Yeah. She's so talented. Yeah, she's she's an art um, major now at, at the University of Texas in the Valley, and so she does really cool stuff. And you're a publisher too. Yes, um, Renee Saldana and I have a, uh, a young, an imprint called Juventud Press for for young adult books. What's the name of the imprint again? It's called Juventud Press. Okay. Yeah. Great. And his, the first book is. Um, is his heart book of the uh, heartbeat of the soul of the, the world. Yes. You see right there in the corner? The, yes. The trumpet. Okay, that's, that's that, the first, yeah, it's a YA book by Rene Sardin. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fantastic. He's really talented. Yeah, he is. Lupe Flores. Oh, is this video? And Ka this is video. Oh. Yeah, what, do you mind? No, I know perfect. you're. I know you're fearless. And, yep. and Carolyn Flores, Carolyn D. Flores. Carolyn D. Flores. And, and mother-daughter mother. and authors. Carolyn's also a musician and an illustrator, and we've talked to her before. There's Contarana Conta, and her. This is the one that came out this week. Dolly, 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 hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah, and Carolyn did the illustrations. And are you ever going to let your daughter illustrate one of your books? Uh, would, we would love to work together. <laughs> it's I keep coming up. We would one love of these days, to work actually. <laughs> Hopefully soon. And and Lupe's Lupe's is, is a prolific author. Let's salsa. Oh my gosh, that looks that's so much fun. A picture book about salsa. Terrific. Are you a salsa? Are you both salsa dancers? You well, are. I used to be in Zumba. So. <laughs> in Zumba. That counts. <laughs> yeah. All right. With a very wild imagination. And uh, what happens is that uh, his imagination can get him into trouble sometimes. But it can also be a great asset. And uh, that's what the book is about. About how he, you know, and learns how to handle his feelings uh, and to use his imagination to uh, put his imagination to a good use. In regarding illustration, what it was really fun about this book is that it's a very short text. So uh, there were some illustration notes, and Erica, who is the illustrator, did a wonderful job. Not only illustrating the story, but also adding to the story. Literary 
is more like uh, just for people, to, for the teachers to know exactly, you know, what feeling he will be dealing with. Anita Erdman, yes. <laughs> uh, from of Erdman's Press, and she was, and I asked her what was the big thing she was excited about coming out this year in her catalog, and she immediately pointed to our friends Chris and Don's book, The Amazing Age of Roy Lynch, that, that Don illustrated and that Chris wrote. And, and tell, can you tell me why you're featuring the book? Why it's well, why we were, it's a we big were really effort? excited because it's, it was coming out. A, it came out on April one. It had its book birthday on April one, and it just coincided practically with the beginning of the TLA. So that was really kind of perfect for a launch for it. So we've been celebrating that here, and they've been signing books, and, and we had a dinner for them the other night that was a lot of fun, and, and uh, just um, we're really excited about having two Austin author, author illustrator team on our list. Now, you know, that's interesting because that's an example of two buddies. Did they, did you put them together? No. Did they put themselves together? No, to we didn't to put them did together, but Chris did recommend Don for Chris, it. And yeah. then, and then we uh, engaged him to do the illustration. And, you know, they, Chris had done a lot of research, so there was, you know, a lot of opportunity for them to kind of, you know, talk back and forth and, and he could share, you know, things that he had learned with Don so he could put them, you know, use to use in the illustration of the book, which is really helpful. So. Now, now, also, Anita, you have a, a, a YouTube channel where there's some really good reporters that are in your public relations. Yeah, and, and they're working yeah. On and uh, can you tell us anything about... I think about it's the YouTube channel is the, is the Erdlings. That's, yeah. And we... We just redesigned our our. Uh, oh, and there's Don. Again. Our blog, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. And those are some of the things that have appeared on there. It's a lot of fun. We've yeah. been, um, interviews with authors, five questions with authors. We let authors talk about their books and illustrators, of course. And then we have you know book reviews. We have fun little things about books, book trailers, um, just lots of different multimedia Liza, kind of what stuff. What would you recommend so, for yeah. somebody who wants to put their artwork under? Your nose is. We have we have um, submission guidelines on our website, mm -hmm. and that's there's a section for authors and a section for illustrators, which are, are both different because our art director works doesn't work out of our office; she works out of her home in Tennessee. So yeah. um, we've got two separate sets of guidelines, but it explains everything there yeah. how you go about um, you know doing that. We still do take unsolicited submissions. We still do take unagented submissions. So you can submit directly to us or with an agent.